What's up, Kerbal Knots? This is Noel on PC, and today, obviously, we're playing KSP again. Uh, I I got excited. It's really late in the day. I don't usually make videos this late, but I got really excited because I finally did something that I've been trying to do from version to version to version for about a year. I've been trying to make stock giant ass landing legs. Uh, EJSA had some success with it, so I basically just copied his idea. But he always says, oh, build it yourself. I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to just upload this whole craft as it is, maybe without the top. I don't know. Um, I'm going to upload the whole craft as it is. And you guys can take the landing legs off in two pieces and put them into your sub-assembly, if you know what that is. If you don't know what that is, just use this craft and be happy with it. Um, so the pieces you're going to grab are here from from the inside decoupler. You're going to grab it, you're going to put it in a sub-assembly, call it whatever the fuck you want. And the other piece you're going to grab is the big plate, and that's going to take the rings off in one big bit. When you grab this bit, it's going to take the whole arms down to the wheel bit. So uh, you can probably tell right away this is really self-explanatory. Uh, when you decouple, this wheel becomes free within the two rings, and it just wants to rotate down. Uh, I'll show you that in a bit. Uh, and this decoupler grabs the one in the bottom. I'm pretty sure when I sub when you sub-assembly this, it won't take this last decoupler, so you just put one on right in the center. You, you drop this down, make a mental note of kind of where it should be, and you just keep moving that one until it's in line with this one. Let's crash this fucker. I think I've given you enough explanations. Uh, you press 1 to drop the legs. I'll figure that we'll I'll say that again when we actually get there. All right, let's let's crash this bitch. I've got a pretty heavy payload up here. Uh, I opted to instead of putting a, a third orange tank in there for the Falcon 9 uh, scale, I opted for something that might be able to take like a Soyuz capsule or you know, people essentially up. I don't want to just launch satellites. I was hoping to do something a little bigger with this thing. But the fact that you have to land all the weight, there's just so much weight. And you need a ton of fuel to slow down. It's just, it kind of beat me. You know, it totally beat me. We just don't have the engines and stuff yet. We also don't have the boosters yet. The Falcon 9 technically, I think, is technically a booster. It's like a two-stage booster. I, I'm, I can't remember if it's solid fuel pretty sure it is. And we just don't have much in the way of boosters yet. We are going to save about a thousand units, roughly. We've still got tons left. But yeah, we're going to save about a thousand units of fuel for the whole break phase. Just trying to tap left just a titch, because I know in previous attempts, if you go dead straight up, You will, uh, you'll come down usually on buildings. <laughs> and that's just not good. Uh, yeah, so we're going to pop right to about a thousand units of fuel, and then we're going to get rid of this beast of burden. Gown. Get it. Bye. To infinity. And beyond. Alright, we are beginning our descent. The captain has put on the no smoking sign. And the buckle sign. I can't remember what that was called. <laughs> I almost said seatbelt. Is it called a seatbelt? It is called a seatbelt because it's technically a seat. The captain has put on the seatbelt sign. The fastened seatbelt sign. You don't come here for the science facts, do you guys? <laughs> Otherwise, I would have driven you away a long time ago. This guy doesn't even know what a fucking seatbelt is. Why the fuck do we watch him? All right, the explosions. The explosions. Oh, we are coming down in the buildings, aren't we? Are we coming down in the buildings? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna push hard here.
That did fucking nothing, did it? That is, it pretty much is wasted fuel, I think. That's all it really did. Why do we have a thousand... What's going on? Where's this mystery liquid fuel? Oh, we have liquid fuel here? Oh, I'll definitely pull those out for you guys. Sorry about that. I did not even realize. Okay, let's get these down early. You need a bit of gas, a bit of throttle to get them to get down. Once they start collect connecting, you gotta keep popping Z a few times. There we go. As each one connects, it drops the fuel away. Okay, I think I think we're okay. I think we're gonna come down. I think we're gonna come down right in between. Yeah, I think we're coming down right in between. I'm trying to control the speed. I'm gonna try and keep that engine intact on the bottom, because that's the thing I'm most worried about knocking off. That was so close. Okay, so if you hit the ground at about nine meters a second, you're you're probably gonna bottom out and not explode the motor. If you go ten meters a second or faster, I guarantee you that engine's gonna explode or at least knock off. And of course, the point is is to to be able to salvage as much of this part load as you can. So I'm gonna upload this to the Dropbox. Again, you can take the landing legs off in the two parts to use on a on a different rocket. You could extend the legs, make them bigger. You can do whatever the fuck you want with these. I'm not gonna tell you to make it yourself because these things are so complex. I'm gonna take the fluid out, but double check when you get <laughs> when you get these, just right click and make sure that these are empty because they might not be, I might've forgotten. Uh, so guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope you're inspired to either build your own Falcon 9 or try this one and then let me know how it goes. All right guys, until next time, peace, love, cheers.